Hello everybody. My name is Mr. Kelvin from Educare Institute. Welcome again in our lecture session and today we are going to have presentation based on physics form 4. We are proceeding with amazing topic which is geophysics. So and proceed with our topic geophysics which have been covered be, with some um, subtopics including structure and composition of the earth we look about the structure and composition of the atmosphere but also we are proceeding with our subtopic which is earthquake and volca volcanoes so we will discuss today with this subtopic so let's see proceed where we ended about earthquake and volcanoes and now we already look about volcanoes and we are in part of earthquake so let's start with seismic waves we say that seismic waves is the energy released by the earthquake from the hypocenter so the energy released by the earthquake from hypocenter those is what we call seismic waves Kwa hiyo energy ambazo zinakuwa zinatolewa na tetemeko la ardhi au earthquake kutoka kwenye hypocenter hiyo energy ndio tunaita seismic wave so, so as you can see that kuna epicenter epicenter ndo center ambao earthquake inaanzia lakini kuna hypocenter the center above epicenter kuna primary waves lakini kuna surface waves as you can see surface waves but there is secondary waves as you can see the secondary waves so there is surface waves but there is primary waves as you can see the primary waves but there is secondary waves near hypocenter that is how you can draw and represent the structure which shows the seismic waves let's see types of seismic waves tuangalie aina za seismic waves we say there are three seismic waves kuna aina tatu za seismic waves aina ya kwanza we say there is primary or p waves lakini pia kuna secondary or s waves lakini pia kuna surface waves kama tulivyoona hapa nyuma kwenye mchoro kwamba kuna surface waves kuna secondary au s waves lakini pia kuna primary waves au p waves those are three types of seismic waves tuziangalie kwa undani let's start with primary waves au p waves tukizungumzia primary waves au p waves tunasema its motion is the same as that of the sound waves in that kwamba its motion kwamba ule mwendo wa hizi primary waves wa mawimbi ya awali primary waves ziko sawa na motion ya mawimbi ya sauti sound waves in that as it spread out it alternates passes compre compresses and pull dilated the rocks that is how we say it is the same with the sound waves these primary waves are able to so that is primary waves so it is look like the same with sound waves as you can see in the diagram there is compression of the waves kwamba unakuta kuna wave nyingi nyingi zimekutana same moja kama inavyoonekana hapa there is compression but also dispersion as you can see kwamba different kutoka hapa mpaka hapa kuna dispersion ya hizi waves kama tulivyosoma hapa hapa nyuma kwamba kuna compression na dilates dilates sama kupul as you can see dilates here so this is primary waves and this is induced motion of the of the waves that is how primary waves look like so now let's see the properties of the primary waves we say that it compresses waves kwamba it compress as kama tulivyoona kwenye mchoro there is compression of the waves so it's the first characteristic we say it compresses waves we say also it is longitudinal waves 
when we talk about longitudinal waves we say primary waves is example of longitudinal waves but also we say it first detected or arrived in seismic station this is a wave which is primarily detected at the seismic station when we say seismic station is a station where there is detection of the occurring of the earthquake kwa hiyo hizi primary waves ndio waves za kwanza ku be detected katika vituo hivyo vya ku detect tetemeko la ardhi it travel at 1.5 to 8 km per second in the ss crust inasafiri au ina ina mwendo kuanzia kilomita per second 1.5 mpaka 8 along the ss crust but it shake the ground in the direction they are propagating if we pro, if we propagate the primary waves it shakes the ground in the direction of the propagation kama unavyoangalia direction of propagation is this one it shows the direction of propagation so this is how those waves is propagated so if you propagate them in the right the ground will shake along the right but also we say it travel through the ss core kwamba hizi primary waves zinasafiri through the ss core tuliangalia kwamba kuna structure of the s kuna core kuna mantle na crust so primary waves zinasafiri along the ss core it faster than secondary waves the speed of the primary waves is more faster as compared to primary waves but also we say it travels through both solid rocks such as granite mountain and liquid material such as volcanic magma and water of the oceans kwamba hizi primary waves zinasafiri katika both solid rocks mfano hizo nini granite mountain lakini pia zinasafiri katika liquid material like volcanic magma pamoja na water in the ocean So now let's look the secondary secondary waves. We already look about the primary waves. Now let's look the secondary waves. We say that when secondary waves propagated it shears the rocks sideways at right angle to the direction of the travel. If a liquid is sheared sideways or twisted it will not spring back. And secondary waves cannot propagate in the liquid part of the earth such as ocean and lakes tunasema kwamba these secondary waves when you prog- when they are being propagated they na shear the rocks sideways at the right angle but not in such they are sheared those rocks sideways in the direction of the travel if they are travel in the right so those rock aside away to the right but we say due to that reason we say that a secondary wave cannot travel or propagated in the liquid of the earth example in the lakes and in the oceans the pro- the secondary waves cannot be propagated here as you can see there is shear in the side way in, at the right angle so this is the wavelength and this is amplitude there is amplitude and those this is the direction of the propagation and this is representation of the secondary waves now let's see the properties of the secondary waves zip is for the secondary waves we say that properties of secondary wave it is shear waves kama tulivyosoma kule nyuma kwamba it is shear waves but also we say it second to be detected or arrive at the seismic station kwamba hizi ni wave za pili ku be detected at the seismic station na tuliona as at the seismic station is the station where there is detection of the presence of the earthquake na tukasema it it 1.5 times the power primary kwamba when you look in the motion we say that in 1.7 times that of the primary means 
it is slower than primary waves but also it shakes the ground perpendicular to the direction in which they are propagating it shakes the it shakes the ground in a perpendicular direction means at the right angle kama tulivyoona katika mchoro they are propagated at the right angle means they are forming 90 degree so do not travel through liquid such as water molten rocks the essence outer core means that the secondary waves cannot travel within the liquid such as water or molten rocks but also the essence outer core secondary waves cannot travel at those media So now let's look about surface wave because we already look about primary secondary now let's look the surface waves we say that surface wave is the seismic waves in which propagates in the acid surface they are propagating on the acid surface but there is two type of surface waves the first one we say love waves and lagging waves there is love wave and lagging waves Now let's look about love waves. When we say love waves moves the ground from the side to side in horizontal plane but at a right angle to the direction of the propagation. They move the ground. They move the ground from the side to side in an horizontal plane but that occurring is in a right angle means at the 90 degree to the direction of the propagation but also we say the horizontal shaking of love waves is part- particularly damaging to the foundation of the structures that is the love waves as we can see on the diagram they are moving side to side but due on the direction of the propagation side to side and they are forming right angle as you can see on the diagram they are forming the right angle angle po in a newsy to see those are love waves now let's look about laying in waves or laying surface waves we say that laying is a is like rolling ocean waves laying waves was both vertical and horizontal in a vertical plane pointed in the direction in which the waves are travel those are region waves sorry okay as you can see on the diagram this is the direction of the propagation something to note we say that the actual speed of primary waves and secondary waves is seismic waves depend on the density and elasticity property of the rock and soil through which they pass means that the speed of primary waves and secondary waves they are depending on the density and elasticity property of the rock and the soil through which they are passing that is but also we say surface waves travel more slowly than the body waves means primary and the secondary so when you compare in terms of speed we see that the surface wave is a kind of wave which travel in a small speed kwamba zile surface wave au mawimbi yale ya juu yanakuwa nasafiri taratibu ukiangalia na mawimbi yale ya awali pamoja na na ya secondary kwamba speed ya mawimbi ya secondary na primary ni kubwa ukikompare na speed ya surface waves but also we say love waves generally travel faster than in rain waves as we will, as we look the rain waves together with love waves so love waves they are traveling faster than rain waves and also we say love waves do not propagate through the water can affect the surface water only in so far as the site of tek and ocean base pushing water sideways like the side of a vibrating tank but also we say raging waves propagates through water due to vertical 
component of their motion. So, region waves have a vertical propagation, have a vertical component. So, they can travel through the water due to their vertical component of their motion. So, now let's look about earthquake scale. When we say earthquake scale is a measure of the rate of the earthquake or intensity of the earthquake. We say that the nature of an earthquake described in terms of their magnitude and intensity. Kwamba, tukiwa tunazungumzia tetemeko la arzi, au tukitaka kupima tetemeko la arzi, tutaangalia magnitude pamoja na intensity yake. We say that earthquake magnitude, the magnitude of an earthquake is a measure of the energy is released. Tukipima magnitude, tunapima ile energy in a way in a big list during the earthquake. It is usually measured on the Richter scale. The Richter scale is based on the amplitude of the largest seismic waves recorded for an earthquake, no matter what type of wave was the strongest. So, Richter scale is based on the amplitude of the largest seismic waves it record for an earthquake. But no matter what type of waves is the strongest. Something to note, we say the Richter scale mag magnitude is based on a logarithmic scale, which is logarithm based 10. But also we say the scale has no upper limit but also small magnitude expressed in negative numbers. The small magnitude of the earthquake, they are expressed in negative numbers. But large magnitude, they are expressed in positive, in positive numbers. So by saying so, as we discuss, we end on the magnitude of the earthquake or earthquake magnitude. On the coming lesson, we will proceed to the intensity of the magnitude. By saying so, let us have an assignment to work on. Our task is that, that define the term seismic waves. As we learn, now you can be able to, to define the term seismic waves, to categorize those seismic waves as primary, as secondary, and as a surface waves. And you can now be able to classify the surface waves as love waves and raging waves. By saying so, this makes the end.